<laughs> today is cardio core and caboose. That's right, we're getting it all done today in just a few minutes. So we'll use the first shred today, a 2010 Tabata round, four on the right, four on the left for our warm up. Go ahead and grab a couple of hand weights, wrist weights, or household items if you have them. Come toward the front of your mat, bend your knees, slide your hips back. We'll just step back with the right foot, three lunge backs, kick, kick, kick. Come back to chair, fist of fire chair, okay? So let's begin. Go ahead and step back with the right leg. First one can be slower. Kick three times, arms back. Come back to chair position and fist of fire. Try it again if you've got a little more time here. We just have five seconds left. So three kicks and chair fists of fire. All right, to rest out, just 10 seconds. Forearms on the legs, breathe, press, and stretch out that low back. Let's begin again, come on up. Keep your left knee over the heel, not too far forward at all, and make sure that you protect your knees. So right foot is stepping back again. Same side for four rounds. We have five seconds, three, two, and one, good, rest and stretch. We're getting lower body, glutes, cardio, and core, all in this very short but effective. Go ahead, next round, step that right leg back and go. This really effective shred today. Now if you want, instead of chair, fists of fire, try a little hop, but land with hips and knees back in space, you know me and the anatomy. All right, come on down, breathe it out. This next one, see how quickly you can go in your 20 seconds. Let's begin now. Really feel the glutes fire as you kick the leg back. That's important. And use your heels a lot to press into the earth when you're coming into your chair. Fists or hops of fire, two. One, yeah, you did it on the right side. We're switching to the left now. Breathe, nice inhales and exhales through the mouth as you start to need it. Now left leg is stepping back in wide hip distance. Three hops, right knee stays stacked over heel or even a little behind. And you come back to chair hops or fists. Keep moving, just five seconds left now. Three, Two, do what you can in the time you have. Rest for 10, you can drop the weights if you like, but not a lot of time to rest. That's why these work so well. Intensity, step the left leg back. Here we go again. And do your best to balance, hips and knees back. Hop the chair if you want it a little more challenging or it feels okay to you, go ahead and do that hop. Five seconds left, coming up, three, two, and one. Good, inhale and exhale. Be very happy you don't have to talk during this time, but let that heart rate get way up. Here we go, next round, left leg steps back, hip distance for balance. One, two, three kickbacks. Come on, into your chair, fists or hops, and go again. See how many you can do in these 20 seconds. Five seconds left, three, Two, one, good, rest it out, breathe. Really press your arms into your legs and get that low back traction. Come on up, last round, you're almost there. Step the left leg back, here we go. Go for it. This is your eighth round, creating so much strength, quick muscle tone, cardio transformation. Five seconds left, three, Two, one, really nice. Place those weights down, off to the side. Press your hands into your knees, breathe it out. Inhale, open into a cat-cow. Exhale, curl. Congratulations, keep doing that. Inhale, open, exhale. Just two more, open up. Notice you might have to breathe deeper and faster than this movement. You need the oxygen, so really go for it. And then slowly, begin to walk your hands up your legs. Slowly come on up, 
to stand, reach your arms to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, bend your knees, fold over, lift your belly, wave your spine long, and slowly step on back to downward facing dog. Our next shred, we're going right in. It's going to be a nice little sequence shred. Take a deep breath in, stretch lightly through the heels, so no overstretching, and then place your knees down. Come on back, interlace your hands, and take a quick look as you breathe and open the chest. So we'll take a down dog, split kick with the right leg. You can just split it up or hop it up. Knee comes into chest. You can just do that completely fine. You can also do it on hands and knees, just like that. But if you want to take it to the whole sequence, then when the knee comes in, you roll toward that left side, back foot comes down, and you're going to kick ha, 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 three times. We'll come back up and kick three times, four rounds on each side. I know it's intense today. That's why it's power and progress this month. Lift up the right leg alternatively and just punch it to the left three times if being up there is a little much. Yep, we're going right in. Let's do it. All right, kick the right leg up, knee to chest. Turn to the left, kick out. You might want to lift that left hand to waist three times. Come back, kick it up, knee to chest. Roll it, kick one, two, and three. One second left, and rest. Come down to the knees, roll the wrists, circle, stretch the arms. And dive right back in, right away, hands and knees or dog. Lift the right leg. Here we go. Spin to the left. Ha! 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 How about really kicking it out? Whatever it is for you. All that old ha! Ha! Stagnant stuff. We don't need it. Five seconds left. Ha! Two. And one. Come on down. Quick rest. So fully get off of the pose. It's not hit unless you're taking that valley along with the hill. Go again. Here we go. Right leg kicks up. Spin, twist, kick. Ha! Ha! That can really help you. Kick it up. Knee to chest. Ha! 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 Bottom fingertips really strong. Remember, you can also do that with the knee. Two. One. Plant it down. Oh, yes. This is happening. Mamma mia. Breathe it out, plant the hands back down, and come on up. Final round here on this side. Kick it out if you can, one, two, three. Where knee comes over, you can always cross. Three like that when you're getting tired. But if you've got the side plank in you today, go for it. Ha! Two, one, place it down. Oh yeah, reaching up. And if you're getting really overwhelmed, you can always pause the video and take a longer rest or back it off. Come on up, left leg, kick it up this time, knee to chest, spin to the right. Kick it, knee or foot, one, two, three. Come back to center, kick the leg up and go again. Spin, one, two, three, two seconds, one, plant and rest. Come on back. Breathe with me, you know you need to. And set it back up. Second round, baby, here we go. Lift up, knee to chest. Spin, try a kick. Ha, 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 it helps to get that power mantra going. Ha, ha, ha. Remind you to breathe too, just five seconds left. Two, one. Plant it. This should be a little bit shocking. She'll be like, oh my gosh. And they go quick too. So here we go. So much transformation happens in a short time if you get the intensity up. One, two, kick it out. Go again, kick and breathe. Breathe a lot, say ha if you can or you need to. Either way, five seconds left. Two, one, place it down. One more round. Squeeze out your wrists. Give a nice circle and breath. And last time on the left, hands and knees are up. Spin knee or kick it out three times. 
and then turn back. Awesome for arms, abs, core, and caboose. All right, five seconds left is all. Three, two, one. Yay. Plant it down, woo. Open and stretch. Inhale, reach to the sky, and exhale. I've got two variations for you to choose from today for our final shred. Now our final shred is going to be a very intense and very quick 10 seconds on, 20 seconds to stretch out for eight rounds. And that's going to give you the opportunity to really get that intensity up even more than usual. So I want you to pick one of these two and we will get her done. All right, hands and knees, kicks, straight leg or bent leg, kick straight up. If you have ankle weights, this is a nice time to put them on, all right? Or you could come down to the forearms and do it with forearms down if you feel like your arm strength is waning. Let's go for it right now. Right leg up, exhale, kick bent leg or straight leg as quickly as you can. 10 seconds already done. Can you believe it? All right, so your 20 seconds, you'll step the right foot forward and take a moment here to stretch in nice and easy and breathe. You can always back off, reach your arms up, circle, and then set yourself back up. Hands and knees or forearms down. I want you to go as fast as you possibly humanly can. Kick it up there, just five seconds left, two, one, knee to chest, step forward. Take a moment, back the back knee off if you need so this front knee is not winging really far forward of the heel, just keep it stacked. If you like to breathe and stretch, do it big, inhales and exhales. Set it back up, right leg lifts, and here we go, as quickly as you can. I want you to really go for it. If you're fatiguing with bent leg, try a straight leg, two, one, step it on forward, breathe. So it's not the length of the practice that matters most, it's the intensity with which you do these that takes you to that next level. Stretch and breathe it out. And let's set it on up for our final round on the right side. These go quick and so should you to get that muscle tone and lift, go for it. Breathe it out. And one, yes, that one is done. Just come on back to sit right now. Reach your arms up, reach back, interlace the hands and open those palms or press the palms out in front of you if that's not available to open the tops of the wrists and then slowly set it up for your left side. Here we go, 10 seconds. Left side, kick it straight up toward the sky until you feel those glutes fire. Three, two, and one. All right, you can step it on forward. Breathe. I know, I'm just throwing you right into the fire today. I get it. This is for when you don't have a lot of time, but you want a lot of results. So you gotta take the intensity with the shortness. All right, two, here we go. Plant those hands, kick the left leg up, go. Like faster than you ever have in your life. Feel the glutes fire as much as the hamstrings. Two, one, step forward. Counter pose. So by the end of this, you'll be long and lean instead of strong and tight. You wanna open it up or even just rest it forward and breathe it out. Set it up. You know the deal, two more to go. Straight back leg or bent back leg or some of both. Five seconds left, faster, two, one. Real nice, step forward, stretch and breathe. Draw the navel in and up, really open up your chest. Circle, stretch the arms, roll the wrists. Set yourself up now, mindfully for the final one. Go for it, 10 seconds. It goes fast and so, do you, here we go. Three, two, one, caboose, baby. And that's 
all she wrote for that. Very good. Come on back to sit. Wrists forward, palms facing you. If you can do that behind your back too, go for it. Inhale, open. Exhale. And wherever you are, deep breath in. Exhale, fold yourself forward into a child's pose. Rest your forehead on something. Feel your heart beating. Feel your breath and let it be as deep and mindful as it needs to be through the mouth until your heart rate slows down and you can switch to smooth, easy, deep nose breathing. Good, nice deep breath in, exhale it out. And you can always stay here for as long as you like or take any final stretch and rest that you need to. But we are in and out in 15 minutes today. You did an amazing job. Give yourself a moment to sit, feel that life force rushing through you. Thank your body for showing up this intensely, and I'll see you soon.